and I think went on to win that tournament too. Interesting. So I know the uh, the head to head looks lopsided. Obviously, it will be because it's Onan, but. Uh, those seven wins towards Defoe's side, don't let him uh, confuse you, because we did see. What are you trying to say? Huh? <laughs> oh, he's saying a lot of those wins are Wi Fi, are they? Defoe uh, throwing some shade. <laughs> Defoe, Defoe said half of those Onan wins on head to head were on Wi Fi. Defoe, um, clearly today, even just today, showing that he is a. Uh, Rather experienced and prosperous in that Steve match. Yeah, taking, taking down it. Redacious. Taking out Redacious, what was it? A 3 0 2, wasn't it? <laughs> Defoe looking to be the uh, hero of the people, taking down Minecraft Steven. We'll see if he's able to do so. Um, I would have. Oh no, what are you doing? Don't do that. Oh, it does. No. Oh, is it? No way. Oh, do you? Gonna go do you? Oh, my goodness. Up and out right. Well, All sure. right, folks. This Onan has forced my hand. Now you have to listen to me talk about Ike. <sighs> Not a big Ike guy. Oh, as a Game and Watch main, I, I <laughs> Ike has this character. That sounds rough. This character has terrorized me literally for years. Shout yeah, out Chan, sure. who was here earlier. Yeah, big Ike. Sir Puck, who did it at the at the thing. But here we see yeah, the game back. plan of Ike. Ike full hops and he nares, and when it lands, he does like 40 percent. And that up air is massive and will kill you off the top time and time again. Just like that. Almost able to kill with that up air early on here. And I see why Onan goes Ike here, right? I feel like the um, the Shulk Steve matchup is not great. Um, probably one of Steve's worst, if I had to guess. I imagine Shulk has a lot of great tools to deal with what Steve has. Um, so Onan's just going to opt for a big little sword fight. And you got to remember, they gave. Uh, wow, nice that was there. And they gave uh, they gave Ike up the super armor. Yeah, they certainly did. As a patch, as a buff, for some reason yep. they had to do that. Ike absolutely has some stuff in this matchup. See if the foe is able to shut it down here, though. Really even here after the first stock. Onan, however, connecting on some of those kill converts. Now, yep, another back hit of Nair. Yeah, it's the very end of Nair that'll always get you. Turning around, almost getting the spike, too. Instead, it's just going to be Nair up air. Oh, my goodness, I've seen that time and time again, and it still hurts me. Yeah, man, Onan's movement is looking clean on Ike right now. Looking a little bit more uh, seasoned than I would have expected. Looking real strong right now um, as game one gets off to a start. Taking some stocks early, even going for like some weird little uh, up the off stage shenanigans with the ledge guard. And hitting his, hitting his kill confirms, hitting his combos. Onan's looking good right now. Onan's looking good, feeling good, playing good. Absolutely. However, that up air from Shulk, Smash Shark, doesn't matter how good you're playing, if you get hit by that, you're going to die. Onan putting some pressure on in the corner, able to hit that up B, getting Defoe into the corner. However, that speed art is going to break him out very well. A couple of up airs in a row, it's going to combo to the speed art, a little bit of an extra fastball. Yeah, it's interesting to see here is now, time and time again, this. Oh, wow, there you go, another up air. Ike getting things going here. Yeah, Shulk no longer with Shield Art online. One little combo from Ike is all it's going to take to take this game. Another random up air. That down air not going to connect. Onan putting on some pressure in the corner, though. His movement looking clean. The dash and that attack. dash attack's going to get it. It's always the Man. dash attack. Okay, Onan. Okay, Ike. Showing up right now. He said I got more than Steve. I got more than Steve. <laughs> Your people in the crowd say, Ike. <laughs> I agree. Uh, but, you know, Owen oh, looking at the stages, contemplating. What do we go with here? Yeah, this is interesting. I really do want I would imagine uh, 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 Onan wants platforms in this matchup, right? Um, Shulk is definitely going to benefit from being speedy, running around, no platforms. And uh, Ike is definitely going to benefit from those platform extensions, which we saw in the last game Onan is more than capable of swinging consistently with. This song goes crazy. Oh, yeah. This song goes crazy. Hard. The energy up, okay. Da, 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 da. Defoe locking in, taking a couple sips. Wonder what I wonder what Owen is doing on that phone. He's always uh, he's always up to some uh, tomfoolery with that phone. And here we go, sticking with the Ike. Obviously, if it worked game one, let's see how far you can take it. Yeah, there you go, Onan looking to run it all the way through with this Ike right now. Defoe uh, got to lock in and see what he can do here. Um, Defoe, the Steve expert, Onan's not going to let him do that. Switching to the Ike and doing very well in that first game. 
You know, it seems like Onan's idea is like, how do you beat a big sword? What about a bigger sword? Bigger sword, exactly. A heavier hitting sword, really. It's just, Ike's sword is just gonna hit and hit hard. And uh, Onan right now is doing a really good job hitting hard. As there, as there we see 70%, and now off stage out. Yeah, that side is gonna be key in this. Yeah, uh, Onan getting pressured a little bit. That Buster getting some damage. Real clutch uh, shield Monado there from the foe. Able to get that out just in time, not get hit by that up air. Bails him out, gets him some extra credit here. Is able to get a few extra hits off, living on the bottom time right now. Hubby gonna connect, sending the foe all the way to the other side of the stage. He's able to break back down with the shield by foe. Not yet, has off stage speed. Yeah, Onin is uh, not exactly being the most ambiguous with the side piece off stage. I'm interested to see if uh, Shulk has anything to counter that. That up, he's not going to connect. Shulk's trying to put some pressure on Onan, put him in the corner. Oh, back, yeah. Woo, that's going to do it. That was a high percent back air. Doesn't matter if it was just the tip, it will take the stock just like that. Up air, we'll do it off the top for Onan, and we're back to even, back to square one. Yeah, we'll see who that benefits right now. We have uh, Defoe with, uh, with the buster out. Uh, he's going to switch to the, uh, to the speed real quick, and uh, Onan's putting on that pressure in the corner, but Defoe is able to speed right through and alleviate some of that pressure. There. Okay, up there. Great there, parry. There's a great grab too on the landing. Yeah, that was that was great stuff there, Hermione. Gets the parry and reads the uh, the cross up on the landing to get that grab. We'll see um, what Oni can do here and what the foe can do to counter that. That falling there into back air is going to connect. Defoe's doing a great job getting those shield arts to avoid um, massive hits from these combos, but Onan is able to follow up with another one right after he lands it. Yeah, and Onan is doing a great job of making a big character, a big slow character like Ike, appear slippery. Yeah, make just, it look quick. Yeah, uh, just doing a good job, like, and that's how you can tell, like, somebody really knows, it, or, like, is a high-level player, if they can make a slow character look fast. Absolutely. Yeah, and Onan definitely been around for a while, even before Steve played a couple characters. Um, not one to just rely on what one character has. As we see right now, using that movement, being a little bit ambiguous, able to hit that up and get that kill off the foe. Oh, and wow. Onan able to avoid the Defoe Classic up smash at ledge. There we go. Onan getting back from the ledge with that forward air. Very good stuff to get off ledge against the foe. No easy feats. And he's going to get through that, uh, that F smash. Just hit him with the forward tilt. Ike, not one to have too many fantastic out of shield options if you're uh, out away from the spacing of that up. Yep, yeah, and if you're gonna just up be like that, you're gonna get punished a little bit. Yep, optimal punish there from Defoe is gonna hit that up smash. Oh, goes for a counter. I often forget that Ike has a counter, but then I remember, yes, yeah, he's yeah. a fire emblem, so of course he does. Yeah, I often forget counters are in the game. They're uh, very seldom used. It's, it's exciting to see one whenever it comes out. Uh, that smash art in the corner. Defoe trying to go for something early, but um, no dice. Uh, he's going to switch to uh, speed art. Keep def or keep Onan rather in the corner here. Gets a critical strike on the backslash as well. Okay. Both okay, players yeah. coming through with a lot of nice parries right now. Onan able to get a couple hits on that platform, but the shield art really bailing out Defoe. Oh, that's a high up up air. Does he go for it again? No, goes for a backslash instead. Gonna get an F tilt off the side. Not that's just right. yet. Stuck in the corner is Defoe. Onan's able to get that up there and send Defoe off the stage. Onan's Ike is putting up numbers, man. 2-0 right now. Let's talk about it. It just goes to show, like, the versatility, like, the consistency of Ike. The aggravating consistency. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm done. I promise I'm done. The, uh, I, the yeah. absolutely aggravating, jaw-clenching, teeth-chattering, feet-stomping consistency of Ike. The one that makes you want to put a Not controller biased. stuck in a brick wall kind of thing. <laughs> in a non-biased commentary. Kind yes, of obvi yes, obviously. <laughs> big fan of Onan. Not a big fan of Ike. Yeah. Onan, right now, showing what he can do with characters on this game. Playing super well. Big fan of Onan, big fan of Ike, honestly. Showing off some super clean gameplay right now. There you go. Taunt, so not taunt, counter. Another counter coming out, but not uh, getting anything off of it. Yep. Defoe getting a few hits off with that buster. That's very crucial. However, stuck in the corner, equally as crucial. A little down throw into forward air. Onan's putting on that pressure. Goes for some funky stuff off ledge. Not quite going to connect. However, the up air just keeps him under pressure. Onan is looking dominant right now. That up he's going to connect. And even though Onan was off to a rough start in this game, he has just been cooking oh since then. God. And that down air is going to continue to keep him in the kitchen. As even with Defoe landing that up air with Smash Art, not going to kill what the forward air does. Mind you, Defoe held in towards stage to try and get a tech, and it was unteckable. Yeah, man. 
that uh that uh that smash art was uh really came back to bite him there uh he was at disadvantage the smash art gave, gave himself a bit of a multiplier and he died a little bit earlier than he might have otherwise another up b not gonna do it, just jumps right over him instead now this up air situation how are you gonna land one of the toughest things to do in this game landing against ike because that up air just covers so much range similar to a sephiroth up there but you know it's no sweet spots to it it just it's just pain the whole way through yeah, Defoe stuck in the corner, speaking of pain. However, breaks out with that buster, but Onan is just going to swing out a disadvantage with that back air, and Defoe is having a tr an issue with overextending right now. However, a little bit of an overextension on Onan's part. Defoe is able to get that smash art up smash. That's going to kill every time. There, not just doing it yet, and there's a nice little grab from Defoe. Man, I can't help but bob my head whenever uh, whenever Ike uses Uppy. It's just such a satisfying move. Just like, ah, boom! It's so it's so uh, it's got so much impact and the really sells it really well. However, that's oh. not mattering right now. So trying to force a game four here, doing a lot of damage early. But still, just to show you like what one interaction and Ike can just make that back. This matchup is just an absolute slugfest, man. Both characters just up in your face, swinging around. Onan right now getting the better of it. However, 82% smash art could have been threatening there. However, able to work his way out of that disadvantage. Defoe not wanting a repeat of that last stock that he lost because of smash art. The up he's going to armor through, but shield art able to DI in and get out of it. Oh, gets, oh, gets another up air. That's almost going to kill here. Still fishing for it with jump art. So hard to land against both no of these characters, shot. but they've both been doing it. Onan with the up air takes the set 3-0 against his foe, Defoe. Woo!